Aloha guys, Scuba Chris here. Now when it comes to leader line material, I use non-stretch fluorocarbon. Now I've used Tigar for the longest time and I trust Tigar. Plus I know the uh, representative for this area and we meet once a year at the shows and it, it's always nice to see him. He always gives me new samples to try out. And you know, I can't say anything bad about it because I try just about everything out there and Tigar is pretty darn good. Now, there's only two companies like I told you that I will use their leader line material. That's Cigar and uh, Soft Steel. Now, Soft Steel is the newest one on the market. Um, this is, uh, it says Floral Stretch. Now, people don't believe me. There is a Floral Carbon Stretches. They say, oh no, Floral Carbon doesn't stretch. Look it up on BD, Bloody Decks. They did their own independent study. They found that this has stretch. This is uh, a product that is, is um, the line is extruded from Japan. And you know how good the Japanese are at extruding line. So you, this is one of those brands that is just that way. It's hard to beat. So I say this for my more important trips, like going Oceanside. If I'm going, like say in an estuary area or other areas, I'm going to use the, uh, the cigar brand. But um, I always keep a little pack. This is from my backpack when I go out. So in it, I have um, the, my um, older styles, the 85, 65, and I got a bunch of these, the 50s. I like these because the vice president of the company gave me a bunch of these himself. So I, I kind of tend to hold on to, to these. But what I'm talking about today would be cigar. Uh, I guess um, you might say that's the correct way of pronouncing it. Uh, other people pronounce it different. I pronounce it cigar. Um, but that is the brand that I, I grew up using. Uh, there's all sorts of colors like um, up the front, like orange, blue, yellow. It, it is supposed to am amplify what you're targeting. Now, the most popular ones tend to be for the PNW, the Pacific Northwest, because they're targeting trout and salmon up there. Now here on the table, check this out. These are the ones that I use the most. Um, I really don't care too much about the color. Um, even the rep told me the, the color is a guideline. If this is your first time purchasing it, it's roughly the same extrusion process. But over here, we got the 12 pound. These are liters now, fluorocarbon liters. So they're not supposed to stretch that much. Just a hair, but not that much. We've got 12 pound. I'm gonna use this more for finesse side for reef fish. Um, you got the, the 20 pound. I, I use this a lot in, in terms of like snappers and other type of medium sized fish that, you know, like the one to uh, five pound range. Now, 30 pound here. This is what I use a lot for bone fishing. I mean, I find that bone fish are very picky. The bone fish will, well, unless you be very good, could snap the 12, all right? The 20 should hold a bone fish, but that depends how good of an angle you are and you know what to do and you have the right type of gear. 30 though, I can horse it in with the 30. So I tend to use the 30 quite a bit. And you notice that from 30 up, right? Look, look at the, the, the thinness or the thickness of the containers, right? 30 up is, is a little bit bigger because it holds more line and it's thicker line. So I tend to use 30 a lot. 40 is the kind of like an odd side. That's why this container is still, yeah, it's still full yet. It's not even open. I, I, I don't think I've used this in, in about a year, year and a half, possibly two years. That's an in-between size, so um, I have a bunch of these. I haven't used them yet, but it's good to have it. 50, though, I use this a lot. Not a lot, a lot, but I still use it quite often. I use the 30 more than anything else. I like to use the 50 for jacks, anything on the heavy side. Um, this 50 pound, uh, I tell you, th th this has held some big fish over the years. I'm very happy with the 50 pounder. So what I do is I have, um, hold on a minute. Let me clear the table. I'm gonna bring over, this is, when I go backpacking, 
this is what I, I bring with, with me when I go backpacking. So this is, um, on the top here are pre-made leaders. Now a quick rundown, you know, I, I have a, I have everything from a bell. Um, this is the uh, floor stretch um, carbon. I have all my tools, um, split ring pliers, fish scaler, um, hooks. I always bring mustad hooks, clip, clip cords to put my um, rods on. I got sort, sorted leads in here for when I go dunking. Little steak knife. So, you know, like what I do is, you know, here, I, oh, this one got caught up in this, but that's a three ounce. So what I do, I have a lot of like two, three, four ounce um, lead here. And I have everything here that I'm gonna need when I go backpacking. This is, and when I carry my rigs in like far, far, like sometimes a 40 minute hike in from the car, I'll park the car in the bushes somewhere. And this is what I walk in with. Now what I do is I make pre-made leaders because I don't want to do it on the spot. So these are my pre-made leaders here. I got braid scissors with um, um, nylon bait thread here. Actually, I should make this also, this video with on a backpacking also. But what I do is all the three by four bags here. Um, these I'm using ringed O'Shaughnessy hooks. These are by uh, Mustad. So it all these bags here that are three by fours. This is with the 30 pound line. And all the bags that are four by fours are with the 50 pound. See here? All fit. So the size of the bag tells me what I'm dealing with. And I prefer the ring hooks because the ring hooks have done me well for holding my fish. And if I'm forced to make um, any anything out in, on, in the open, I have swivels in here, some more um, loose hooks. I got, I bought bigger hooks, smaller hooks. So, you know, when you go backpacking, you kind of want to um, have everything pre-made ahead of time. You hate to do things on the spot. Plus, uh, recently I've been doing this, I've been um, having problems with peacocks, actually very aggressive peacocks, uh, dog packs, and I can show you just a video alone on just huge boars. I probably with the boards I'm having, I mean, one direct confrontation and the rest were just passing through. So what, I, what I'm gonna show you here is take this one here. This is in the three by four bag. This was made with the 30 pound cigar, all right? Now everybody has their own favorite knots and their favorite lengths of line. So, you know, this is, I'm just gonna show you what I did. I use a, a Palomar, but I, I uh, um, this is a double Palomar here. See with the ring here. What happens with the ring, it, it no matter how the bait falls, it's gonna give a natural presentation. See how the hook doesn't move? I like that. So my leaders here are roughly about three and a half feet long. So what happens is that when the fish comes by, see it, the fish comes by here, swallows the bait, what's gonna happen is that with the um, ring over here, it's gonna, the fish can be in either position, but he's not gonna feel that, that hook digging in until he goes away and then, wow, he feels it, right? But no matter which way he turns, see that? No matter which way this fish turns, let me get it in there. No matter which way he turns, because of the ring, the hook's gonna be steadfast. See that? The hook's still gonna be in the position that it's in. So this is the reason why I like using these ringed hooks. 
to sum everything up, you know, most of this uh, leader line, the floor, the fluorocarbon leader line material, they're being extruded up in Japan. But right now, with the global shortage on petroleum and a lot of other products, it is directly affecting fluorocarbon. Um, some of the chemical components that's made for the usage of fluorocarbon is now going into other types of uh, production. So there is going to, I was warned already at the last show, there's going to be a drop in availability of fluorocarbon. So that doesn't mean that you need to hoard it. It means just be aware that the prices may be going up and it might be harder to get that, that certain weight class that you want. So what I do is I, I kind of stock up. I don't get a lot of this stuff, you know, because I don't have that much money to play around with. Nobody does the way things are now. But um, I would... I would suggest whatever you're using, get maybe a backup. So I have this and I have another one like this one too. But these, and when it comes to cigar, this, I, I like I like this just as much as, as the uh, floor stretch. But you know what? Um, I'm not going to say which one I like better. I do have my preferences. But I've used this for a long, long time, long time. Uh, from my very, very first time going up uh, to the Pacific Northwest, going for coho, which is silver salmon, going off the Columbia River. Um, I fell in love with this brand, all right? This is good, good line. And I would highly recommend that you get this. And when I highly recommend something, it's, it's not because I'm endorsed. I'm not endorsed by cigar. I just know the company and I know some of the individuals in the company and because of that I do know behind the scenes of what they go through for the testing, how they develop the line and I'm quite impressed with it. So if I were you, I, w I would look at um, this this brand here, the, the Cigar uh, Floral Carbon Leaders. You gotta remember, leader, not, not your main line, your leader line i really haven't had much trouble with it um my last big strike was using the 30. i hooked the gt when i was going by bonefish by mistake and after geez let's see 11 12 minutes it, it rushed the mangroves twice on the second run it snapped the line i brought the 30 pound in it was because uh two two and a half feet of the line was all chafed up by um, the line rubbing up against the mangroves. I waited out, looked at mangroves and all the, the outside bark material um, of the roots were all stripped off. So that tells you how tough this line is, all right? So I just wanted to share this with you and I, I hope that you can tell that um, when I use the product, it, there's a reason why I use it. It's from years of experience, trial and error, there's some brands that I will never go back to again, but I won't share that information. It's not right. So um, have a great day, guys.